Um, thank you for watching this video. My name is Leah Swain. I'm with Certum Solutions, and we're going to be talking today about the QuickBooks point of sale version 19 discontinuation. Um, so what does that mean? <laughs> That's a good question. So QuickBooks has um, decided to discontinue their point of sale offering. This is for all levels that will include for basic, pro and multi-store. And the end of life is slated for October 3rd, 2023. Um, what that means for you as a current QuickBooks user can mean different things. So you do have the option to keep your QuickBooks point of sale. There will be some limitations about the functionality going forward, and we'll discuss that. But you have also um, options to move over to other software. QuickBooks is not releasing a new version of desktop point of sale. They are discontinuing that software altogether, and they've partnered with Shopify to offer you alternate solution um, as far as on meeting the needs of current customers. So what options you have there. Um, and we'll discuss that as well. But starting off, what does it mean? So that means that the end of life is slated for October 3rd. Um, they will not be offering support for QuickBooks point of sale, nor will they be releasing patches or any um, corrections to the software after that date. The software itself will continue to function as far as um, financial exchange. However, any integrations, whether it's a third party application or merchant services or payroll, none of those will continue to be existing. So you can keep it, but you will need to replace some of the functionality. Um, they will not be doing new sales for the software. So sales have ceased for point of sale going forward. If you've purchased your point of sale within the last 60 days, you do have a 60 day return option for current software. So if you're on day 59, today is the day. Like, don't wait until tomorrow. <laughs> you need to process that re refund if you're wanting a refund. Um, they will refund anybody who's purchased within 60 days. Um, additionally, you can continue to add users to the software until October, but you will no longer be able to add users after October 3rd. Um, we spoke about the merchant services not working um, after October 3rd, and the financial exchange will, but there will not be any store exchange functionality for the multi-store levels. So that's some of the items um, that you'll see. We'll get into a little bit more detail, but why did this happen? So as you know, um, the trend for software at this moment is a true SaaS software. People are wanting online cloud-based functionality, and we know historically that QuickBooks point of sale does not integrate with QuickBooks Online as it should. It can, but it required a third party and it got a little costly. Additionally, you were not able to host QuickBooks point of sale as easily as you could other software solutions like enterprise um, or desktop that Intuit offers. So the online ability was really limited there. Um, if you're a multi-store user, you know that there was some limitations for multi-store regarding um, you know, the, the difficulty of file transfers and what stores the headquarters store versus the remote store and the functionality between each location. There's different reasons that Intuit just looked at and said, you know, overall the support of this product and the other offerings out there, there's better solutions. Um, so that is why they've made this decision, in my opinion. <laughs> That's just my opinion, but it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? So if you're a QuickBooks point of sale user, I'm sure you're like me, you loved it and you were able to do what you wanted to do, but there are better solutions out there and Intuit has made that decision to discontinue the solution that they've previously offered. So again, the end of life is October 3rd, but there are no new software sales happening at this moment and there won't be for QuickBooks point of sale in the future. So what do you do now? Well, if you wanna keep your point of sale, you can do so. There's not going to be merchant service abilities from Intuit. They're going to discontinue the point of sale merchant services. So you will need to replace merchant services if you were using Intuit. Um, we have a solution at Certum. We partner with another company. Their rates are awesome and it look and, looks and feels like Intuit. Um, it is a native integration, so you won't really notice the difference. That is, that's an option. Um, you won't have any support through QuickBooks, um, so you would want to definitely be working with a QSP 
okay if you have any questions, um, but software wise, if there is a break in your software or you get a bug or something of that nature, that's IT. Um, you need to have a great IT team, um, but there's not going to be any assistance from Intuit on that after October. Your financial integration to your desktop will continue to work. However, as I said, the multi-store file transfers will not work. So if you're a multi-store user, Retaining it can be done, um, but it's going to be a lot of manual entry and manual imports to your headquarters store, which previously was handled by those file transfers, which will be going away. Um, so again, keeping point of sale, if you're a basic user, you shouldn't really have any problems. You don't have any integrations. Um, you'll just need to replace your merchant services. If you're a pro user, again, replacing merchant services, is an option continuing the software is an option but you will not be able to add users and there's you know that's that's up to you it is doable so just so that we're clear any integrations that you have outside of quickbooks products will not work so just be aware of that um, if you're looking to switch over and find a new point of sale option um, don't be scared <laughs> we're here to help. We understand there is a lot of people in your same situation and we are trained and certified in other software so we can assist you with that conversion and we have options. So your options, again, keep point of sale with those limitations to look at Shopify, which is what Intuit is leaning into as their replacement for their point of sale. And then we also have alternate um, point of sale options if Shopify isn't going to be a fit for you and if you don't want to continue with QuickBooks point of sale. So just reach out to Certum and we can go into those. But today I'm just discussing Shopify as the replacement. That's into its main premier partner. So that is what they're suggesting. Um, some information on Shopify if you're not familiar. Shopify is an e-commerce engine. Um, it has added retail point of sale for their e-commerce customers, but you can do the point of sale without being an e-commerce customer as well. That's something that they've added in partnership with Intuit. It's fantastic. I've seen the software. It's nothing to be scared of. It is a really good software, and I think you're going to like it. I think it's going to meet all the needs of anybody who's been using QuickBooks point of sale to date. Um, it does have an integration for QuickBooks Online as well as QuickBooks Desktop. So if you are using desktop financials already, you don't need to replace that with online. If you're using online, you don't need to replace that either. That's It's the true integration. Um, they offer their own merchant services and they've matched as closely as possible their rates to what QuickBooks was offering. Um, so we can get you in touch with them and go over what your options are there and they can do a rate comparison for you. The financial exchange, as I said, is between desktop and online. So you have that option. You're not limited to one. And if you're currently using Shopify for your e-commerce engine, you just add point of sale on. Um, Shopify is offering discounts of 50% off their software as well as their hardware for people moving over from QuickBooks point of sale. Um, the hardware itself, you don't, you might not have to replace all of your hardware. QuickBooks point of sale hardware is compatible with Shopify, but there's, I think the barcode scanner is something that you might need to replace just so that you have that Bluetooth functionality um, because Shopify will need to run on an iPad or Android device for their registers. The back office can still run on PC. That's not a problem, but the registers do need to be on Android or an iPad. Um, Additionally, we partner with Shopify. Um, we've been working with them as this release was happening. We waited a little bit longer than others to give out information, but we just wanted to make sure that all the questions were answered and that we had the most detail. So if you are interested in Shopify or you want more information about the discontinuation, feel free to reach out to us. Again, I'm Leah with Certum Solutions. And my phone number is 980-242-2009. Or you can find me on our website, certumsolutions.com. I'd be happy to schedule time um, to go over this with you. There's no cost for a needs assessment or um, the discussion. I can get you in front of Shopify to get a demo and see how the solution will fit for you as well. Um, I hope everything goes well for you. And again, I look forward to speaking with you in the future. Have a wonderful day.